Hey YouTube, it's September the 21st, 2011. Yes, the subscriptions are all going haywire and even uploading videos is a bit of a problem. But hey, there we go. Uh, we've got silver coming in at £25.71b, 40 US bucks and 12 cents. Gold coming in at £1,148.69b, 1,792 US dollars and 59 cents. Some linkies for you going down below. Uh, first one is the UK may have to do <laughs> sorry UK may have to delay cuts say the IMF um, let's just have a little listen to this shall we the global economy has entered a dangerous new phase the recovery has weakened considerably and downside risks have increased sharply strong policies are needed both to improve the outlook and to reduce the risks. What has happened is that markets have become more skeptical about the ability of policymakers, of governments, to stabilize their public debt. Worries uh, have spread from countries at the periphery of Europe to countries in the core of Europe and then to others, uh, Japan, uh, even the United States. Worries about sovereigns have translated into worries about the banks holding these uh, sovereign bonds, mainly in Europe. And these worries have led to a partial freeze of financial relations, with banks keeping high levels of liquidity and tightening lending. Fear of the unknown is very high. Stock prices have fallen. These will adversely affect spending and growth in the months uh, to come. So uh, <clears throat> let's focus on a bit of growth, uh, shall we? Um, this is just another link. Uh, the IMF global economy has entered dangerous a new phase. Uh, this just follows on basically from what that chap just said. Uh, nice little bit in this. Uh, the IMF report also voices concerns about US economic recovery and the chance it might suffer further blows, including a weak housing market and worsening financial conditions. It warns that either the Either of the issues could drag both the US and the Euro area into recession. I don't know about you, but I don't think we've ever come out of a recession. Uh, Britain will have to delay austerity plans if growth slows further, warns IMF or the International Monetary Fund. Um, again, growth. Uh, this little chart here is quite nice because you can highlight... Well, let's, I don't know, might as well go for the UK. Um, this will tell you which, what the GDP figures were and what they have been downgraded to at the moment. Um, whether or not that's updated daily, I don't know. But anyway, quite an interesting little uh, little thing to look at because everybody's downgrading their GDP. Um, over in the UK, job centres to send poor and hungry, hungry to charity food banks. Um, <clears throat> just came out a few days ago tens of thousands of benefit claimants will be referred to food banks by the government which is worried that many Britons face a stark choice starvation or feeding themselves by begging or stealing hmm. from tomorrow job centres in England and Wales will refer the needy to charity run food banks that will give them food parcel it is the first time in living memory that hungry people will have been passed on to charities in this way Hmm. Uh, this one came out on Sunday. The IMF, EU, ECB tell Greece to shrink public sector. Otherwise, expect no check. <clears throat> That's their uh, second bunch of uh, monopoly money coming in as the IMF starts basically buying the world. Um, this one out today, Greece bailout cabinet meets to discuss faster cuts. So the and the Greek cabinet will meet later to discuss accelerating austerity measures aimed at securing further bailout funds to help ease the country's debt crisis. Hmm, further cuts, securing further bailouts. 
Now that's a little bit like, let's say for example, uh, you run a uh, window cleaning business and you're in debt and the bank's suggestion is, well, you sell your van and all your tools to cover your debt, um, which you do. Um, then what have you got? Uh, now focusing on growth, I know some of you, or hopefully many of you, have seen this little video, but I'm going to post this up because when I saw this many, many years ago, it hit home with me. So uh, sit back and have a listen to this. Let's look now at what happens when we have this kind of steady growth in a finite environment. Bacteria grow by doubling, and one bacterium divides to become two, the two divide to become four, the four become eight, sixteen, and so on. Suppose we had bacteria that doubled in number this way every minute. Suppose we put one of these bacteria in an empty bottle at 11 in the morning and then observe that the bottle's full at 12 noon. Now there's our case of just ordinary, steady growth. It has a doubling time of one minute. It's in the finite environment of one bottle. I want to ask you three questions. Number one, at what time was the bottle half full? Well, would you believe 11.59, one minute before 12, because they double in number every minute. And the second question, if you were an average bacterium in that bottle, at what time would you first realize that you were running out of space? Now think about this. This kind of steady growth is the centerpiece of the national economy and of the entire global economy. Think about it. Okay, so uh, that's why, in my opinion, it is impossible, and I repeat, impossible, to sustain continued growth. And this is the only thing all the governments of the world do not understand. Now imagine you're that window cleaner. Watch yourself.